Well, it gives me great pleasure to say welcome back to Working Football Club, John Goddard. John, how are you? Very well. Good to be back. Yeah. Um, first of all, today's game, was that a fair result, do you think? Um, yes and no. I think uh, Paul Woken were very strong, um, more than matched this first half. Um, had chances and could have uh, could have been in front. So, you know, yeah. I don't think Woking should go away from the game thinking it was 3-0 and, you know, a resounding defeat. Um, having said that, I thought we'd come on strong. Um, probably could have had a couple more goals towards the end of the game, which would have been harsh on Woking. But um, I think we probably deserve to win over the course of 90 minutes. Yeah, I don't suppose there's too much argument with that. I, I wonder if the uh, bet performance in the second half coincided with you coming on. <laughs> yeah, maybe, hopefully. Um, <laughs> But I think everyone just lifted it up a little bit. Um, you know, had, had a chat with each other at half time, and, and we, we just thought our standards weren't quite where they needed to be in the first half. Um, but you know, part of that just needs to go credit to Woking because they made it difficult for us, and they picked up quite a lot of loose balls. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought they were, they were quite good in the first half. Second half, we just sort of tidied up all over the pitch, and um, yeah, like I said, we come on strong in the end. Yeah. It was good to get a few goals. The, looking at the Woking team, was there any? How many of them did you know? Uh, no, not, not many. Obviously, I'm very close to Joey Jones and yeah. still speak to him regularly. So it's good to see him out there, and um, he's got a more, you know, he becomes more prominent at the club every year. It's these yeah, days, you know, he's looking right. like more of a senior for player at the minute. Um, I know Ches Isaac quite well, and right. um, Charlie Carter was coming through the system when I was here as a young player. Yeah. So it's good to see him getting some first team action as well. Um, but it's just nice to see the people around the club really not so much the players because they've ma mainly changed yeah. but the, the same faces at, at the club that do you know, sure. such hard work and it's good to see all of them you know, doing well and hopefully uh, set for a, a strong season in the conference Yeah, absolutely So turning to Swindon Town last season, not what you'd have hoped for? No, last season was obviously disappointing and you know, that's, that's all it can be described as really when you get relegated, it's never, it's never nice um, see, personally, you know, I played a lot of games and, and did reasonably well for periods. Um, made the most appearances at the club, um, so there were there were little bits and bobs for me in my first season in the football league, which I can look back on and, and try and build on this season. Um, but yeah, obviously, it's, it's it's a massive season for the club. We uh, we're under no illusions. We need to go straight back up. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, there's there's a bit of pressure on us, which is good. I think that'll bring uh, more out of the players. You know, we need to go and win every game, and we're a bit of almost a big fish in our league at the minute yeah. so you know it'd be a test for us um, but we've brought in a lot of new players and obviously got new staff yeah. as well at our club um, and it's just given us a chance to freshen everything up and I think that's going to do it a lot of good to be honest. Yeah you've got um, Mr Flickcroft managing you now, is it, yeah. does it feel very different? It does yeah, it does, he's, he's putting his, his methods in place and he's brought you know, a lot of his own players and um, the team's you know, knows exactly what we need to do. Uh, I think we did it for probably 30, 45 minutes today, mm. and you could see, you know, what we're trying to do and how we're trying to play, um, and it's just about trying to do that every day in training, so that when you come on a match day, it's just habit, and you do it for 90 minutes. Whereas at the minute, I think we're still trying to sort of get used to it, um, and like I said, it, it'll get to a stage where, where we know exactly how we're, how we're trying to play, and, and, and it'll be natural, and you know, I'm sure results yeah. will follow it up. Sure. Where where does Swindon see you, you know, in terms of position? Although I, I accept that it's a different regime now to the last year. Cause did you get yeah. played all over the place a bit last year? Yeah, a little bit. I think that's part yeah. and parcel of it. I think last year we played a lot of different formations to try and uh, find a winning formula, yeah. which we, we never, yeah. never got, to, to be honest. Um, so I played a few different positions, and um, I think that's, that's a positive of mine. You know, I can play in a number of different positions. Obviously, yeah. at Woking, I was so successful coming in from the left, and yeah. that's where I sort of play today. Um, but yeah, can play can play centrally as well. I think people that see me play know I can play off a striker or you know number ten or whatever you want to call it. So there's a few positions I can play, and you know just trying to fight for a shirt really to make sure yeah. I get one of them every week. Sure. And what, are there significant differences in terms of fitness between the levels? Uh, between Swindon and Woking. Well, no, between National League level and League One, um, League Two. I don't know. I mean. I, I, the, th the thing with the conference and, and what I found as a young player is you, you're playing so many games, you naturally get fit. So yeah. if you're playing, you know, up north on a Tuesday night, and you're playing Saturday again, then you're playing the next Tuesday, and the FA Trophy games and FA Cup games. The yeah. game's so thick and fast. I don't think fitness is too much of an issue for, for right. national league sides. I spoke to the, the the manager Anthony today, and he said they've been working really hard, and obviously they've introduced yeah. another day in the schedule yeah. uh, every week, which will help the boys. Um, and I think today we were a bit stronger than them. To Towards yeah. the end, I think we looked physically stronger and fitter. Yeah. Um, 
but you know that's probably a credit to us. I don't think Woking looks unfit. Um, I just think we were quite strong. Um, having knowing what's at the club at the minute at Woking, there might be a, a light on one or two numbers as well, which yeah, true. probably um, you know would help them out in, in a game like this. But that's that's good for, for Woking to get a gauge as well. They can see us. I know they played Cambridge, so you can see where they need to get to. Um, sure. And you know, hopefully, have a good season. Yeah. We certainly hope so. <laughs> I remember um, one live Sky Sports game last season that you were playing, and you got man of the match. Yeah. From Sky. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got that, that uh, sitting in in the bedroom at home, the little middle. Have you? Good. Yeah, good no, for you. There were, there were some positives for me last year, but like I said, as a group, we just underperformed yeah, massively. But yeah. the, the beauty of football is you always get a chance to put it right. And if we get promoted this year and do good things, then. You know, it, you know, have a much more positive spin on it. So that's the, that's what we need to do. Sure. Um, but yeah, overall, it's disappointing. But lastly, then you had to score a goal, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> no, yeah. It was, it was very well taken. Yeah, it was nice. It just opened up for me nicely. I could have scored earlier on, to be honest. I had a chance. It was a bit disappointing with. Um, but yeah, it was nice to get on the score sheet. It must be something about the KRE end. I always seem to score my, yeah. most of my goals down that end of the pitch as well. So it was a nice moment and. Uh, yeah, but no hard no feelings. I no, think. no, of course not. No, you took it beautifully. It was a little touch of class. So, so congratulations on that. Congratulations on today's win. Wishing you all the best for the coming season. It's fantastic Thanks to see you again. All the best.